In these problems, we are factoring perfect square trinomials in two variables. And if you've been factoring perfect square trinomials in one variable, this shouldn't be too much harder. We're going to apply the same pattern. This is basically a, a shortcut for factoring. And the first step is to recognize that you have a perfect square trinomial. You should be looking at the first term and the last term and asking yourself, is that something I can easily take the square root of? And in this case, yes, that's true. Eight, square root of 81 is 9. The square root of x squared is x. So this first term, the square root is 9x. The second, the square root of 4u squared, that's going to be 2u. And you know that could be positive or negative. We've got a positive sign in the middle, so this is all going to be positive. And to test if this is a, a perfect square trinomial, we multiply these together, and then we multiply them by 2. So 9 times, uh, 9x times 2u would be 18xu times 2 would be 36xu. And look, we have a 36xu in the middle. So this is a perfect square trinomial. To factor this, once you've determined that, it's pretty easy. You just take the square root of the first term, and because the middle term is positive, you plus this, the square root of the last term, so 9x plus 2u squared. And that's all there is to it. So that's following this pattern down here. If you have a negative sign in the middle, you're just going to put a negative sign up here. But let's test this one and see if we've got a perfect uh, square trinomial. So the square root of the first term would be 4x. The square root of the last term would be 7w. Uh, we're going to have a negative here. And if we multiply, because we've got a negative sign in the middle, if we multiply those two and then multiply them by 2, 4 times 7 would be 28 uh, times 2. So we'd get a negative 56xw. And yep, that's the middle term. So this is a perfect square trinomial. This time it's got a negative sign in the middle, so we'll use this pattern right here, where we have the square root of this first term, 4x, minus the square root of the second term, 7w quantity squared. So that's how to factor a perfect square trinomial in two variables.